Trello is a web-based collaboration tool that organizes your projects into boards. At one glance, Trello tells you what's being worked on, who's working on what, and where something is in a process. It's great for small teams managing simple projects, but this visual list tool can do so much more. Whether you're organizing work projects, family chores, travel plans, or just about anything else. Inside this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to plan out your meals for a week. But first, let's quickly cover how Trello works and why it's so awesome. A Trello board is basically a web page containing lists laid out horizontally on the page so you can get a bird's eye view of your project. Items within the list, called cards, can be dragged and dropped onto other lists or reordered within lists. Individual cards themselves can contain checklists, images, attachments, deadline dates, color labels, and discussion notes from others who share the board. You can have as many boards as you want. Think of Trello cards as sticky notes that you can arrange on a cork board. That is, digital sticky notes that are searchable, shareable, and come with reminders. Let's get started on planning out your meals for a week using Trello. The first thing you want to do is set up some lists on your board. Each list can be a favorite meal category. For example, breakfast, snacks, salmon, veggies, pastas, and salads. You can create as many as you would like. Now when I'm cruising on Instagram and see something that looks amazing, I can create a new card with the name of the dish on the appropriate list. Then, I copy and paste the ingredients and directions into the card's description as well as the link to the recipe back on the original site or IG profile. Finally, if there's an image included within the recipe, I will right click the image and select Copy Image URL and then in my Trello card, click the Attachments button on the back of the card and paste the link in to the Attach a Link field. This also adds the image to the front of the card as a card cover so that when I'm browsing my board, I can see all the great dishes that are available for me to make. All right, now you've got your recipes on your cello board, it's time to start planning. In regards to cooking habits, let's say you will cook four or five nights a week and leave a few nights for leftovers. Trello makes it easy to plan out a few weeks or a few months of meals, in this case, a few days, with due dates and the calendar power-up. Start planning out your first week of meals by adding due dates to the recipes that you crave the most. To add a due date to a card, either click on the card to open it and then select due date and add your date. Or use the add a date shortcut by hovering your mouse over a card and pressing D. Once you have assigned due dates to your cards, enable the calendar power up for your board. This will let you visualize all the cards with due dates on your board in a calendar route. To do so, open the board's menu, click power ups, the calendar and enable it. Now click the calendar icon to the left of your board sidebar and boom! If you decide to change your mind and want to have avocado pasta on Monday instead of Friday, just drag the avocado pasta card on the calendar from Friday to Monday day and the due date that you assign to the card will be updated instantly. So there you have it, you now have the basis to create your meal planning board using Trello.